you know, I wasn't planning on making any more videos and whatnot. I thought that I can just be done and just stop. But, I don't know. I've got so much crap on my mind and no one to tell it to. And it sucks. <laughs> I never thought that I would love someone as much as I do. I just didn't think that, that was possible. I didn't think that I had it in me. Um, I always thought that for me, a woman is interchangeable. I can just do whatever, you know, get over one bitch by getting under another one, I guess, is the mentality. And I think it's because I didn't find the right one. I didn't find my person. And then I did. And I lost her and I can't get over her. We were trying to do this whole be friends thing and that worked. It was nice. Like I know that I could pick up a phone right now and message her and unfortunately she puts my notifications to ignore and I know that and then she responds to them later but she always responds um We had a conversation a while back about not talking anymore, and I know why. Um, I honestly believe that if we keep talking, that it would destroy her relationship that she's in now, and... She, I guess, wants to try that, which I can't fault her. I, I messed up bad. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if we kept talking, and if, or if we keep talking, that we'll be back together. And I think that, that scares her, and it scares me as well. So choosing to not talk to each other, I guess, was decided to be the best. And... What's today? Today's Thursday. And I haven't talked to her since Wednesday. And that was about a dog kennel. I tried... We, we decided last week that we weren't going to talk anymore. And I didn't want to do that. But that's what she wanted. Or that's what she needs, I guess. And so... I sent her a message about a dog kennel because I'm debating on getting a dog and I told her that I would probably need it back. Um, and I tried to say completely, strictly platonic and nothing else um, because she doesn't want, she doesn't want that kind of any more communications. And so we had that last correspondence on Monday. So it's only been what, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days. Um, just the longest four days I can imagine. I had to go a month and a half almost without talking to her. That sucked. 
but it was different because I knew that I couldn't talk to her. And I, I personally thought that she wanted nothing to do with me. So that kind of eased the burden, I guess. It still sucked drastically. Um, but now all I want to do is talk to her. And I think that she thinks the same thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to me. Maybe our fire is gone. Maybe she sees that. Or maybe she just has a stronger fire someplace else. I don't know. It's just really hard to... It's really hard to do. Um, I keep finding myself wanting to send her a message and just tell her that I love her that I miss her or that I'm even that I'm thinking about her I mean I I had to catch a field mouse the other day and uh, there was no reason to kill it an innocent little mouse got stuck in a, a drainage ditch uh, got scared during this last storm and it wasn't hurting nobody just just a little guy and so I uh, went down and I caught it in a couple of five gallon buckets and there's no point in killing an animal like that for no reason um, and so I uh, took it over I was like oh, I'm just going to take it over to this field down over here and let it go and I, I found a field of sunflowers and <laughs> I don't know it, it just felt right pulled my truck over and grabbed my buckets out, walked to the middle of the field, let let go of this little mouse. And uh, I, I I say field of sunflowers. There there was it wasn't a field, it's just not the right time. But there was a significant amount of them. And so I I just let it go thinking that, you know, this would have made my person happy letting a little animal go in sunflowers uh, not not letting it die letting it live out its life uh, and I I wanted I, I even took pictures of it and a short little video of of it and I was gonna I was gonna send them to her I took these pictures and I took that video and I loaded back up in the truck and was getting ready to go on lunch and uh, the entire trip back to the shop I was like okay I'm gonna send this one and this one and I know that she'll like it and it'll cause her to smile and she'll be happy just because of the animal and because of the location and it was a beautiful place and all this and I knew that it would make her happy But I couldn't send the pictures, and I couldn't send the video. So that sucked, and I really, really wanted to. I don't know. I I feel like I'm wasting my life away right now, and. I know that she wants me to move on and she wants me to be happy and she wants me to go out and date and sleep with other people and all this stuff and it, it just doesn't feel right. Nothing feels right about it and I don't want to do it. It just hurts a lot. And I'm hoping that it's going to get easier. It's it's dumb. I I have I have her on my Facebook Messenger and whatnot, and so I find myself getting on Facebook all the time just to see if she's active. 
because by me seeing that she's active, that means that she's okay. And she's not hurt, she's not injured, nothing. I find myself checking on it all the time. Well, I found myself checking on it all the time. And it sucked because I don't know the algorithm of how Facebook works, but uh, as soon as I log into my messenger, um, hers is the very first picture that shows up every single time. Every single time, it was bam, right there she is. And my, my mind is like, okay, well, logically, the reason why is because she's who I spoke to the most. So the algorithm is like, okay, well, this person is online. You talk to them the most. You must want to know that they're online. That way you can talk to them. And so my logic is, okay, well, if that's the case, if I stop talking to her and I start sending random messages out to everybody else, then they'll be more common friends or popular friends or something like that. Uh, so I start sending out random messages to a whole bunch of people. Just bam, 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 bam. And I, I've been doing that all week. And I <coughs> decided to get on Facebook Messenger today because I've been trying so hard all week to not get on it. But, I mean, I still get on it quite often. I don't message a lot or talk to anybody, but I get on it a lot. Um, and I figure that she gets on and looks and sees me, and she knows that I'm okay, too, if if I'm active. And so that's kind of, I don't, I don't know, that's just what I think. Um, and so uh, I lost my train of thought. But so I, I would get online to see, well, I got on, I got online to, to show that I'm active and whatnot more for her benefit in case she was curious. Um, but I noticed today that her picture wasn't up there and it hurt. And so I was like, well, you know, maybe it's cause she's not online. Because if people aren't online, it doesn't show them being active. The, the little picture doesn't show up, nothing. Um, so I was like, okay, well, let, let me see. And so I scrolled down to our messages, and she was active. But she wasn't in my top friends' uh, messages, I'm assuming. That fucking hurts so bad. I mean, it's exactly what I wanted it to do. Because it's so painful to see her picture. And know that I could just type whatever I wanted and pew, she would see it. But it's so painful that I can't. That sucks. She's the love of my life. I can't talk to her. this gets better I still have illusions of holding her kissing her and telling her I love her I, I, 
I anticipate waking up every day and rolling over and she's in bed or a message sent from her saying I love you or I miss you we need to talk or how can we make this work and I was hoping that that feeling and that anticipation would fade but it doesn't every day I wake up I, I typically wake up before my alarms do uh, and I roll over and I first thing I do every morning every morning is check my phone just in hopes I know it's dumb I don't know a better way to describe it other than I'm ice skating uphill I'm fighting a losing battle And I, I can't stop how I feel and I can't make it go away and I can't stop thinking about her all day, every day, all day. She knows I love her. She knows she's my lovey. And I guess that's what's important. She knows how I feel about her. It's late, but she knows. And I guess I have to take that solace. I, I have to count that as a win. Because she will never not know how much she means to me. This damn thing is 18 minutes long. I'm, I gotta get off of here. I have to.